Morning, everyone. So I have been up since minutes past three this morning and uh, I couldn't go back to sleep. It's now 4.46 and I don't normally do videos early morning or in the night. I've never done a video early in the morning or at night, but I was trying to go back to sleep and I couldn't go back to sleep because I just had this urging to get up and do this video I want to go back to sleep so I'm keyed into the call and I'm doing this video so I know 2020 has been a rough year for a lot of persons and uh, people are struggling but I want to tell you not to give up don't give up on God because he will not give up on you just keep holding on to God. God never gives up on us. We give up. We are the ones that give up on Him. So I want to encourage you to continue to hold on to God. And I'm speaking blessing and positive energy into your life. And I'm praying success for you as the time progresses. But you have to believe, you have to hold on, and you have to trust in God. And I pray that God will open up the storehouse of heaven and bless you. And you have to receive that blessing. You have to speak positivity into your life. You have to let go of negative energy and negative people. Because when you surround yourself with negative energy and toxic people, it's as if you're stocking blocks on your head and eventually you're going to break under the pressure. God doesn't want us to only increase horizontally, but he wants us to increase vertically. But you have to claim that blessing. Stop saying that I can't. Say that I can. And when people fight against you, when the enemy throws darts at you, when people try to break you down, when people conspire against you, when people tell lies about you, neutralize that negativity and turn it into positive energy. When people try to fight against you, don't be discouraged. Let it spring you into action. Let it motivate you. People will try to bring you down. When people see that you are a threat to them, when people see you as better, than them they're gonna try and break you down let me encourage you to never get discouraged it's okay to cry go behind closed doors but don't let your enemy see you angry don't let your enemies steal your joy if you have to cry cry but don't let your enemies see that you are broken but talk to God and turn your brokenness into strength don't let negative energy, negative people, don't let them discourage you. Turn it into positive energy and let it spring you into action. The more they fight against you, it's the more you must increase and grow. Because people will try to attack you. People will try to discourage you. But let it be as if they're watering a seed that will flourish and grow. Never ever allow negative people to steal your dream and to steal your joy. Now it's okay to dream, but you can't keep dreaming for, your, for the rest of your life. You have to stop dreaming and turn that dream into a reality. And if everything I've said just now is not resonating with you, I urge you to remember this point that I'm going to make. If you are an employee, never be comfortable with where you are. Don't think that an institution, an organization, or a facility can function without you. Get that mindset out of your head. Never think that you belong. I know a lot of people may be saying, but what's the use? If you're an employee, never be fooled that you belong because at this current moment you're relevant to that institution but the moment you stop being relevant the moment you stop being useful is the moment you are no longer needed doesn't matter if you did 10 years of service 20 years of service 30 years of service don't get comfortable the moment you are no longer relevant 
to an institution, an organization, a facility, or to people, it's the moment you're no longer needed. And that's when you will be struck with a harsh reality that you never truly belonged. So still put out quality work. Don't water down on the quality of work that you give, but don't be comfortable with your current position because when you're no longer useful or relevant, you're no longer needed. And this is not just with organization, this is with people, this is with friends, and sometimes even family. So strive to be self-sufficient, strive to be successful, turn your dreams into reality. And I pray a blessing on everybody who is watching this video this morning. I pray a blessing, but you have to receive it. You have to speak positivity into your life. Let go of the negative energy. If you have to cry, cry. There's nothing wrong with crying. But you pick yourself up and you move because your only journey is upwards. Your only journey is upwards. Continue to increase and grow, but surround yourself with positive people with positive energy let go of toxic people you will you will recover when you lose these friendships when you lose these toxic people around you it may hurt for a while you may feel lonely you may feel depressed but you will recover and you will increase so let go of toxic people let go of toxic energy let it go and speak positivity into your life speak success into your life I had a primary school teacher, Mr. Miller, and I never forget, never forget to this very day, he said, Heights by great men. I think it was a quote by Wordsworth Longfellow, I think his name is. Heights by great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, or toiling upwards through the night. Work for your success so you can sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labor. God bless you.